Hello, I'm Dr. Alexander Apkin. I'm a bariatric surgeon and a board certified general surgeon. I'm a director of bariatric surgery center of excellence at Sinclair's Hospital um, Health System in Dover. I'm a director of bariatric surgery center of excellence at Hackensack Meridian JFK University Medical Center in Edison. Over the course of my 23 years of experience, I performed over 10,000 bariatric procedures and have been named as a top doctor by New Jersey Monthly Magazine for 17 consecutive years in a row um, by my peers. Question number eight. I have had previous surgeries, including open surgery. Am I still a candidate for laparoscopic surgery? Laparoscopic surgery has been around for over 30 years. It has come a long way since then, including development of multiple special instruments specifically designed to allow for safe completion of the minimally invasive surgery without having to make a big incision called open laparotomy. Occasionally, we have patients who had previous open surgery such as open gallbladder removal or hernia surgery or colon removal or cesarean section for females, which quite commonly is nowadays. All these surgeries leave more scar tissue called adhesions on the inside when compared to laparoscopic procedures. But with the aid of special instruments, we can dissect or cut through these adhesions or scar tissue safely in order for us to see the stomach or any other organ in the abdomen for that matter, and perform the requested procedure, whether it's sleeve gastrectomy, gastric bypass, gastric band, or revisional surgery. It does add some additional time to the total time of the procedure, but since the patients have been medically optimized for surgery, as we discussed previously, additional time under general anesthesia is very safe. 